I have found a free software that works better than Audacity to control some effects. It has one disadvantage over Audacity which I will discuss a bit later. Let's see the benefits first. It has excellent control for equalization and you can find it here. This EQ works real-time, which means you can adjust control as you listen to it. In Audacity, it is very difficult to compare if your audio is becoming good with the EQ. This software makes that comparison very easy. There is a toggle switch at the top left, through which you can enable or disable the EQ on the track. Then there are these frequency bands. You can enable or disable any band by clicking it. The purpose of these bands is to give you control over EQ sweeping. Main frequency of a band can be adjusted in this frequency knob. You see the number related to that band is moving as you adjust the frequency here. There are also several other knobs like this gain knob. You can set the boost or cut amount through this gain knob. Let me show you a quick use case of this knob. I will add some gain in the band 3 and will do an EQ sweep to find out the booming frequency. How much I have earned through the Amazon affiliate program in the last three months. After watching this, you will as get I an sweep idea through it, I see what kind of sound a particular frequency is contributing. In the last here, months, I found maximum boominess in the sound, so I will cut here just by dragging. It's a very handy technique to find out which frequency to boost or cut. I can adjust the cut amount here and can set the frequency selection wider or narrower. Q factor controls how wide or narrow the frequency selection will be. So you see how convenient it is to EQ voice in this interface. Also to find out the difference between the original and changed voice, just toggle the EQ switch. EQ is not the only control where this software gives better control over Audacity. It has many practical effects which can be useful for your particular audio. For example, if you are facing issues with sibilance, you can use this de-esser. Just drag the de-esser effect on the track in the timeline, and you can set the control. How much I have earned through the Amazon affiliate program in the last three months? You can control the amount After in this amount this knob and also set the frequency range. You will on, on the right, you amount. will also see how much reduction is happening with your current settings. This kind of flexible control is not available in Audacity by default. Another useful thing is its dynamic control. You can set the compression here, and it's quite simple to configure. You can control your threshold and ratio in these knobs and see here how it is affecting the audio. Compression is a useful technique not only for leveling low and high sounds, but also can help you with occasional peaks in the audio. My intention in this video is to show you what this free software offers, so not discussing the details about these effects. It also has a dialogue processor effect, which is some of the effects in one place for voice. The changes reflect in real time as you change. Just like Audacity, you can export the audio file to the format you like. Now let's see the disadvantage. The software name is DaVinci Resolve, and you can get it from this website. It is available for Windows, Mac and Linux. On Mac it is taking over 3 GB of space. Audacity requires less than 100 MB, so DaVinci Resolve takes way more space than that. It is actually software for video editing, but its audio editing feature is excellent than Audacity in some cases. It may not be a replacement of Audacity for basic editing like Delete, but you can use its effect for better results. I think the combination of Audacity and DaVinci Resolve can help to make sound better. I will make some detailed videos on audio editing in DaVinci Resolve and see you there. Thanks for watching and let me know your interest in the comment.